Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello everyone and welcome to week 7 of season 2 of uh, WWE 2K24 My GM Mode here on the Backbreaker Gaming uh, YouTube channel. Uh, we are uh, on the road to SummerSlam, just like, you know, what happens in real life here. And uh, we uh, got a very interesting card coming up here uh, this week after we did a Becky Lynch and Cora Jade had a last woman standing match, which uh, Becky won, I, I want to say somewhat handily. Uh, we also had Seth Rollins retain the uh, IC title. We developed some new tag teams here with uh, Ivy Nile and Ava Moreno. And we also uh, tried to get some other feuds going, but all in all, we still got the lead. That's what matters. And let's see what kind of fun we could have going forward here. So it's about time we popped in here. So let's uh, get to it. Once again, if uh, you aren't uh, following the... Uh, youtube channel please uh click click the thumbs up on here click the uh subscribe button it is free if you're watching all the vods on uh on uh twitch please click the follow button it helps to know when exactly when we're uh, going to be uh moving up and uh when we're uh when we're live so As I'm just trying to take a look at everything else here, spend more than a million on shows. We're we're getting there. It's just going to be a little tough. We have two of these we have to do. Resolve five rivalries during a PLE. We got two down. We're going to easily get that one. The other one is the tough one. We're going to have to spend 400000 on power cards. We still got a ways to go yet, but... I'm, I'm sure we're going to be able to do that, so. All right, so let's book this show. So from last week, we found out that we're going to have to have Gunther uh, come in as uh, in our matchup here because, well, frankly, we don't have any other Giants. We might actually have to rent a Giant this week. We'll see. Let's see what we got for availabilities here. Three fighters and a bruiser, so we might pop into the gene pool here a little bit as we go. But let's book this show and see what's going on here. Uh, main event, we could actually introduce some tag titles finally for the men's. But let's get some of these guys that don't get many feuds here going. We can't do so. We pulled uh, we pulled uh, Hayes for two weeks just because he's got that feud with Gunther. It's gonna be at the PLE. Uh, he wanted some time off, so I said, "Well, hell, why not? Let's just let's just do it." And I think we're going to do Let's do Baron and Dom. And we'll make this for the tag titles cuz we don't have anybody Ooh, Baron stamina's down a little bit. So let's see if we got anybody else. Ah, oh, there we go. Make that a title match as we go here. You know what? Let's make it a take. Let's make it a tables match just for the hell of it, so Stax gets the extra chance. We do have that rivalry with Dom and uh, Clinton here. I would like to get one going with the MVP and Stax, 
just so we could have a rivalry going. Do we pull this card now? I think we do. Let's leave it as is right now because we can't do much with it. Just have it as a regular match. See, how, see what else we could book here tonight. In turn, so what for the women do we have here? Let's check the stamina levels. We can put Trixie in a match. You know what? I might even just throw Trixie versus... Just because I need a match right now, Trixie versus Ava might be the way to go. Oh. No feud with Ava yet, so we'll just leave that out. Then our other one we can make is a triple threat. We don't have much for stamina for the women here. Let's see if we go find someone. Female heel. Ooh, Maya. You know what? Since I don't have a pickup card, I think this might actually be not a bad pick. Welcome to SmackDown, Maya T. Cook. Maya, we will put you in with... You know what I think we're going to do? I think we're going to put her in with uh, one person from each of the top two tag teams. All three bruisers, so the card's not going to be pretty, but you know what? It's a bit of a difference here. That's fine. And this one, I don't think I have to... This is going to be one of our poor shows, which is fine by me. Always love to get school cards. One of your random extreme rules matches will receive higher than normal. One of your randomly held in the cell matches will receive a higher, but these are expensive as hell. These cards, but let's uh, you know what? I think for this one, we might just uh, thanks for screwing up my brand, Heyman. We still have to take out, uh, we'll, we'll use one of the, we'll use a veto card on, uh, we'll use a veto card on Pierce once we get to the week before the PLE. But other than that, we got some promos to book. Let's see if we can do a training promo. Who, who could stand a little bit of extra training? If I could actually get Henley to push herself 
up to that next level here, that actually would work out pretty well. Is there anybody else that could use training here? Rollins is so far back, I can't get him up higher. Uh, everybody else, I really want to just heal up. Let's do a charity promo, get some more fans in here. Maybe we should do that. Just have Scarlet call out Ivy just to. Let's see if we can increase that just in case we have any issues with JC. Actually, that works out because we have that call out right after the match. All right, I think we did everything we we're going to be able to do with this. This isn't going to be the sexiest week. But the fact we're going to get some tag titles for the men might help us move things around a little bit. And it basically it's shuffling the deck chairs to make sure that, you know, we have enough people around. This Gunther Ilya one, I, I, I just need to get Gunther on the card. I wanted to save this for another night, but I need to get Gunther on the shelf to get the uh, card. So why not try it? Iron that. We picked up the cards that we want. Is there anybody I can give some points to to move up? This might be a little overkill doing this, but... No, what I'll do, I'll give her a 5 ring XP. I'll let Henley do the training. So she's immediately halfway up nine, so that works out. Do I have any spas left? No. So we're good there. So I am gonna have two two of those. So we're definitely SummerSlam's gonna be an all-out show, I got a feeling. So we can uh definitely push it there, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna get for a total book out of this, but you know what? It's a cheap show. Should be good on the bell curve. Let's go for it. So we got to watch these in reverse order right now because it is a, a spider, a snake, sorry, back and forth. So Candice LeRae Valhalla, one-on-one. -on -one. They, they always get a bonus for the women. Two and a half. Ooh. This may not be good. Okay, so that rivalry gone after the run-in last week. The rivalry's going up to level three. So we got a triple threat between Indy, Isla, and Jody. Let's go five-star match. Indy. Damn it, he still wins. Logan Paul puts himself over. That big shock. Piper Niven Neon Bright Star. One, two, ring it. Piper wins. Bright Star out for two weeks, so she'll be back for the PLE. Vicky McLeod, new person, up to. And our main event, non title Miz and Garza versus Bait and Creed. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. He really didn't want to spend money on this show. Challengers win and there's a new rivalry. All right, good on them. So Gargano and Hattrick for the heavyweight. Let's go. Let's go, Jerry. Ah, boo. Three-star match retains the title. That would have been awesome to see Jerry win the title after that trade. All right, Finn puts himself over. Jay Pierce versus a debuting George Steele. One, two, that's three. Let me hear the bell. 
George Steele wins. And a two, yeah, he didn't expect much. Weak promo, but it got the job done because it's a face versus a face, right? Or no, it's a heel face. McIntyre's heel here. Big E versus Elton Prince in a one-on-one, -on -one and they... Oh, and a run-in by Booker T on Prince. One, two, Interesting. Three, Prince wins anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> Booker T had the run-in, and now he's injured. <laughs> All right. Ricky trying to put himself over, but... And for the women's tag team titles for WCW, we're looking at Raquel and Gigi defending against Alexa and Tiffany. This would be a fun match. Raquel and Gigi, level four rivalry champs retain. They are set up for the PLE. So for Raw, we got Otis versus Shinsuke Nakamura. This was the same match that closed the last show, so I'm assuming there were shenanigans. Otis is your new champion now in a four-star match. Let's go. Strowman barely gets himself over, okay. Baszler versus Carmella for the 6,000th time. Baszler in a three, okay. You guys are killing it with the card here. 52-50. Women's tag title match. Bailey and Molly Holly defending against Natalia Michin. One, two, three. Champs retain again. And a three star in a rivalry form. Nice work. Taker will not be denied on these promos. But then our main event for the Raw tag titles. R-Truth and Tommaso Ciampa versus Rude and Breaker. We had the same one last week at a tornado tag this time. And the champs retain. In a four and a half star classic. Atta boy. I think this might be the week that we end up losing our first overall rank here, but we'll see. So our opening contest here, Gunther had to be involved because our least popular giant had to be in a match and our least popular giant was our only giant. And while well, Dragunov was in nice catering, so I figured, you know what, why not? We're going to get this match anyway sometime, so we'll, let's see what it's going to be like now. It won't start a rivalry because uh, Gunter and Carmelo are in a level 3. Next week, I'll look to make it a level 4. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. So as we're uh, continuing on here, I just want to uh, once again send out my thoughts and uh, everybody give all your well wishes to everybody affected by the fires in Jasper today. Uh, if you haven't heard, the uh, the town of Jasper is basically caught in a wildfire right now and the town's been evacuated. And from what we've seen, the town is pretty much toast. So they're going to have to rebuild once again. It's amazing the personal strength of everybody in uh, in Alberta, the amount of strength that people have in resiliency and getting... And Ilya fired himself up. I love it. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. Oh, 
Ilya just trying to focus himself up here. So yeah, just a reminder that, you know, as many hardships as you might have in life, just remember you could have these trials just like these people have right now throughout Alberta with the fire coming down and such. Ilya with that crazy smile. All right, let's see how things go here. Going into the PLE, I do want to get most of my champions a bit of a rest here. Well, yeah, this is going to be one hell of a main event for Bash of Berlin. WWE is smart. This is the match they do at Bash of Berlin. Just because of the popularity of Dragonoff throughout Europe. And of course, you're going to bring Gunther in at home, right? So. I see Gunther just picking apart uh, Dragonoff here. Just really hoping that, uh, you know, this doesn't affect everybody completely when it comes to uh, their stamina. Dropped right on his back. Dragon, I'm just having none of it right now. Gunther about to fall to his knees, and Dragon just said, Nope, you can stay up here, thanks. Oh, nice fake out. I love it when they do that fake out move. Arn Anderson started it. Oh, and he does it again. Arn Anderson started it. And now everybody just doing it so much. So well. I don't want to say so much better. Guter was having a hard time getting out of the blocks. He ain't having it now. I think Gutu's had about enough. Now Dragonov's had his... Gotta love it when the faces do heal moves, right? As we move further into the card, uh, or possibly the third season, we'll have to push to get things really opened up here. Beautiful Senta there.
Gotta, gotta ask the crowd for some support here. And Guthrie's busted open. I don't know if it'll allow us to show it again. I gotta go back and check the settings on this. I, like that flashing red means he's supposed to be busted open, but we can't tell. Looks like Guthrie's getting set up. Oh, where are we going here? Down with the cover. Almost a three. We're getting ready for that. This crowd is absolutely loving this. And just think, they're getting this on a random episode of SmackDown. Oh, the elbow blocked. Blocked the ch- uh oh, quick cover. You ain't gonna be able to pin the champ that easily. He's calling for it. Torpedo Moscow. Oh, Guthrie gets out of the way. I think Guthrie's had about enough here. Three old slaps. And so clothesline. If we're gonna see him go to the top, is he gonna go for that splash? Yes, he is. That's gonna be it. He hits that splash, he's done. Nice fought by Dragunov here and a hell of a start start to this show. Three star, okay. That, that's fine. There was no rivalry built or anything, so I, I can live with a three star. Perfect. All right, let's see what Fallon got. One XP point for that. That sucks. All right, so this one, yeah, once again, getting Ava some matches. Trixie's got to get her debut match in. Let's see how a Bruiser versus Bruiser match goes with two of our newer people here. I just need it to show up. Watch this be a four-star match for everything. Interesting intro there. Thank you, Alicia. Trixie, uh... Trixie getting the Stacks McSlack slash geriatric entrance here. But not doing the mind's eyes, so... Glad it, mi glad it mixed up just a little bit. And now we got our newest signee here. The reason why I gave her a little extra money for a little extra time. From the Bronx, New York, Ava Marino. Ava. Ava here, we had her in her first season. We, we did some good work with her. 
Uh, she... We, we ended up not keeping her for the second season, obviously, because they released their contracts at the end of the season. We didn't pick her up right away, but... Obviously, there's something there, so we're building her up. I didn't want to spend all the money to finish off the season with her there, so... This might be a rough night for us in terms of finishing it first, but... Honestly, to finish all five seasons in first isn't a goal of mine. It's to finish all five seasons... Finish the fifth season in first. Nice shoulder tackle there. We'll see. We're going to work on trying to build Ava up as much as we can right now. If we can get her up to like a level 5 or a level 10. It's only going to help us more when it comes to picking up our brands here. Big splash. Is she going to go for the cover? No. It would be nice to see if we get this little mini feud going here. While uh, we have Scarlet and Ivy, they can take care of their little feud here. We do have the tag titles involved, but I just want to make sure that everybody's still healthy a little bit. All right, that sucks. Commentary desk tries to get away and they don't. Roll over. Oh. Goes for the punches instead of the cover. Got a little gator roll action here. Nice power bomb cover. Not even a one count. Wow. Maybe Trixie's destined to win this match no matter what. I wouldn't think so, but. Oh, Trixie's getting that clothesline one way or the other. What a shot. Oh, that didn't help a whole lot, but... Oh, there we go. Dominator. Hooks the leg. And just a one count. These, these ladies need... Oh, here we go. Trixie's setting up. Go for the power bomb. It's a last ride. That should do her. Just the two count. Ava's got some guts here. Ava's got to go in for that final kill here. Swing and a miss. I guess it's swing and a hit.
Big splash off the top. Go for the cover, girl. Me being tough a little bit. Oh, I tried to go for the second kick. Trixie said nope. Nice shot. Uh oh. Trixie warming herself up to the crowd. Oh, Ava playing possum. I think Ava knows what to do now. I think it's I, I think it's time she finished this off. Oh, she's going for the same trick. Oh, never mind. She's waiting for Trixie to get up. Shoulder block from the top. In for the cover. And Trixie said nope. I gotta admit, this match going a lot longer than I thought it would. Four knees, five knees. And a fall away slam. Nice little variation there. Get the hook the leg. Referee uh, completely out of position there. It's almost like neither one of these ladies really want to win here. All right, going up, she's gonna hit that, got the elbow off the top. Into the quick cover, that should do it. Trixie with the win. In her debut match. Here is your winner, Trixie Gambit. I wouldn't think this would be much of a match. Be interesting to see if they get a rivalry. That's all I wanted. Just give me a match. I know my uh, combinations haven't been the best in terms of people, but... Oh, they got a rivalry out of it. All right. We'll see how we can play with that. Rollins bringing in 4,500 people. I like that. Now, let's get the debuting Maya T. Kirk in here. We're going to take her with Billy Slugger. I Ivy now is basically the focus on this group. I'm hoping... We did two bruisers in the last match. Let's do three in this one. And let's see how this goes. Basically, I think this is setting up uh, who's going to be our next opponent for the tag team titles. Because you're looking at Billy and Fallon trying to get the titles back. You're looking at Ivy and Ava who won another shot at the champions. Making her way to the ring. From Kingston, Jamaica, Maya T. Kirk! And Maya, who I would probably put with Trixie at this point, she's there just trying to... They're trying to establish themselves. And now that Trixie's gotten a win... Like, Billy's been doing a lot of work, so I think that she might be... She might be the key cog in all this. And her opponents, first, from Chinatown, New York, Billy Slugger! But it's going to be interesting to see how we get three different... Uh, what happens when you put five bruisers in two matches?
But I'm thinking I might take one, some of our specialists and change them out in terms of classic. Because I'm pretty sure we could do that with Becky now. Scarlet might be... I think Scarlet's got to be have an X, enough XP to do that. It'll be interesting to see here what Ivy, uh, what the Creeds decide. Now that the Creeds are working with uh, Chad Gable, see, interesting to see when they finally bring in I Ivy to uh, finish off that group. Now, it's interesting. All three of these classes are the exact same, so I guess it's good on a random random SmackDown match in the middle of a card to see how this will do. I know they said this year there's a little less focus on classes and just a little bit more on good matches. I do know I have to get a little smarter on my drafting for season three, though. In terms of who I have and how I want to book and... Probably gonna work a little harder to, uh... Get a little more formulaic roster with a little bit of everybody. Maya just coming in, just saying, nope, I'm going to take care of this. One-handed spine buster down for the cover. Now, this is why I put the main event as a tables match, because I do not want this going forever. It's bad enough this one probably will. I'm surprised Maya's uh in the position she's in in terms of height being a bruiser. I would I wouldn't think bruisers would be that tall. Ivy's going for a chair. That doesn't seem so nice. Just punch the chair out. Ivy just doing the work taking over here. Nice power slam. Ivy, you better break that up. Bill, Billy's been on a roll here, so. Got the shtick. Billy, sh Billy coming in with the shtick. Well, that's one way to fit, one way to use it. I would have preferred the whack, but that for the cover. Oh, that ain't gonna work. If Maya would have been a little bit more, would have been dazed for a little bit longer. Maybe that would have worked, but.
What are you dragging around for? And Ivy just said nope. Now I'm just pulling on that arm. This is smart. This is smart. Get her outside. Leave her out there. Focus on your opponent. Hit your finisher. Well, she tried to get that lock on there, but Maya just way too good shape. Well, that'll take you out of your shape in a hurry. Uh oh. Is Maya gonna get a win in her debut? No! Ivy says no! Now you're gonna get a one out of that. STO. Somebody go for a cover. Oh, Maya's gone to the outside. Nice neck breaker there by Maya. Now Maya with the chair just going to work. All right. Maya just a little bit upset. I can see why though. Drop some bottom out, get the cover. Somebody cover someone. Maya just way too fresh. And Ivy didn't want to deal with Billy, but just say, oh, I'll go from behind. Oh, go for the submission. Smart move. Oh. There you go. Both, both wrestlers out. Ivy going for the cover. Am I only giving you a one count? I would throw her out of the ring and go off to Billy personally. I love the fact she had the uh, chair animation even though she didn't have a chair. Billy's done. Hey, go for a cover. Like, it's whoever can get on top of Billy first. But well, Billy's getting out of the ring, so... There is a chance we get that pinfall real quick here. Nope, didn't give up on the backbreaker. There we go. Now we got it. There's a tap. Here's a tap. Here's a tap. There it is. Ivy just had too much there. Here is your winner, Ivy Both game competitors, Billy and uh, Maya, but Ava just way too tough.
One star. Ooh. Three brews. Yeah. Three of the same category is going to produce that. No rivalry. I'm good with that. Scarlet taking care of the issue. Thank you. All right. Here comes our main event for our inaugural tag team championships. We got MVP and Dirty Dom. Take it on Clint McDougal and Stax Lorenzo. This should be a lot of fun. And I think the heels should win the titles personally, but just because of the stamina difference. But hey, you know what? It's a title match. It's all over the place. As we're getting into our, our main event here, want to say thank you to each and every one of you for stopping by here, whether you're watching live or VOD on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref or on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash appbackbreaker underscore gaming. If you're enjoying what you're watching, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Helps us out to let, let us work towards bigger and better things for all of us here. The following contest is a tag team tables match and is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 259 pounds, Monte Montavious Porter, MVP. See, I wish it would sync up a little better than that. But yeah, for uh, those watching, we do record these live after AEW Dynamite and Collision. As long as uh, what Collision or Dynamite are not three hours. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, we do release videos every Tuesday and Friday with WWE 2K24. Our other franchises that we have on there. We're currently we're at five days a week. We do like to go seven, but five is where we're at right now. And representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at two hundred pounds, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Now Mysterio and McDougal have been having a rivalry here as we've been going along here, but So I think next week we'll focus on the women's rivalries with um We could realistically have four women's matches next week. We'll we'll see how the stamina overall looks. Cause I know a lot of the wrestlers are run down here at this point. So right now it looks like we are going to be doing uh, double double tapings here. This we're doing a double taping tonight on Twitch. Uh, next Wednesday we'll be doing another double taping because SummerSlam and uh, SummerSlam is next Saturday along with Collision. So we're going to be doing uh, a dual sidecast once again of that. So. Provided I can get home by five o'clock. And once again, we have the Rent-A-Cop who uh, 
I didn't want to look for big boss mans. Right now, I'm not looking for any legends until I actually get... Uh, until I get that permanent card where I can turn someone from... Uh, from a part-timer, from a rental to a uh, permanent. Even though right now the way Ava's going, I might actually use her for that card, but... I'm thinking using it on a uh, permanent star would be great. Season one was an easy pick. It was JC Jane. When she showed up in week eight, I suck. I grabbed that opportunity as fast as possible. And it hasn't let me down yet. Hey, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 200. I am going to work hard for uh, next season to bring in some actual tag teams. So we can actually have them come out together and whatnot. So if it's possible to do that, I, I'm looking very forward to doing it. Because that's one thing we haven't had on here yet as a group uh, come out together. I think last year we had Toxic Attraction. That was it. So yeah, with this being a tables match, it should go by a little bit quicker than the rest of them. And I think almost by default, this will be a better match than what we had earlier. So... Like I said, if I had my predictions, I would almost think that the heels should win this. But it would be nice to have two face teams and two heel teams as champions. Because right now our current tag champions are Scarlet and JC Jane. a nice nice dual move there by the by Stax and McDougal there McDougal being somewhat clinical here But yeah, having this go on here, and if, if I don't have the, I am actually gonna have to pay McDougal if he doesn't, if he wins this match. Oh God. MVP blocks it. Oh, McDougal's got him. There it is. McDougal, Stax and Lorenzo just stare at each other off. Alright, we'll see how the bookie went on this. I just hope it was more than one star. This might be the night where we finally fall behind Raw. A three I was expecting a lot worse do we get a feud no nope, no feud but we do have new champs so always a good thing to have new champions out here so 
it's time for us to go take a look at the report cards for this week. So let's take a look here. SmackDown got good booking. I like that. So we got a level one, a level three. Nothing. All right. So let's see here. Level four, level four, level one, level four, level two. Oh, yeah, that was good. Amazing booking for Raw. What are you talking about? Yeah, I guess it's over. Yeah, okay, I'll give it to him. Got good booking here. So you got level one, level four, level two, level four. Oh. Everybody's setting up pretty well for the PLE. They got injuries. Not much for rivalries. We got a three, a one, and a one. Hey! Could have been a lot worse. All right, time to get the overall report here. ECW with a 101. The 191. I can't wait till what happens next week with them. Maybe it's just me, but I think the triple threat match has fan favorites outnumbering rule breakers. It sounds about right. So th just broke 3 million fans and 191,000. Forty nine thousand fans, two thirty one for budget. Nothing spectacular. Two nine eight four. Raw getting a one twenty one for book. Yeah, they got first place. And two eighty eight. They did amazing here. I'm gonna have to cut them down to size. We ended up with a ninety six. So yeah, we're we only gained thirty one. Well, we got some money now. Depends how much McDougal wants. All right, let's see here. So we got the pre-match physio, so we'll be able to take care of somebody here. So Pierce has overtaken us now by 20,000 fans. We will fix that. Uh... But yeah, so we're in second right now. We're 10,000 up on ECW. And Bischoff is still running behind. So I knew this would be a little tough these uh, couple weeks here as we go along. Just because we're trying to build up towards the PLE. But it'll be interesting to see what comes up here as we move uh, ahead here. And speaking of moving ahead, as per tradition and the fact that we can't save at this point, let's see what's going to be happening coming up next week on the draw. So, Reno, Nevada. All right, so what's Clint got to say here? Five weeks, 16 grand? Uh, yeah, since you're the tag champs, I will. Yeah, I'll take that for now. All right, JC, what do you want? God has really been behind me. It's time we took advantage of that. You should give me the main event in the upcoming show. I deserve top billing. Huh? It's pretty obvious that the viewers want to see me in the biggest matches. DiBiase is going to put me in the main event. Well, didn't we talk about this? The fact that, you know, we could do a rematch for the tag titles this week. With uh, Ivy and Ava versus Scarlett and JC. So, you know what? I'm just going to make everybody happy. All right, so that's what we're doing here. What's MVP got to say? Okay, so I got three weeks to book him versus Ilya. All right, I could live with that. Do not book your most popular giant this week. So no Gunther this week. Thank goodness. All right, so what do we got to do? 
Ivy. All right, so Ivy and JC are going to be involved in the main event. We can have MVP versus Dragonov and then two other drag matches. As in horrible drag, horrible being a drag. And in terms of logistics, what are they going to give us here? Oh, we have enough to get state new stage crew or commercial ads, but I'll have no money after. So we'll probably leave those alone. We'll take a look at the rest of this when we come back next week, but this really looks like it's going to be fun here. Um, we're really going to have to work. We'll, we'll get the rivalries done, and then I got to get one of these other trophies done here. I do have to book five shows with all match stipulations. Which I think we're going to be able to do during the PLE. Everyone's going to be a cage match probably. Because I'll use the uh, free card for booking matches. And then the other one, well, unless we're going to start getting a bigger venue than that, it's going to be tough to get this Hall of Fame trophy here. But we will see how things go. But uh, for those on Twitch, uh, just hang on. We're going to wrap things up here momentarily. Uh, for you on YouTube, once again, thank you everybody for stopping by here. I truly appreciate having you all this week. Uh, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you, uh, could, if you could also hit the subscribe button, it would really help us out and give us a comment about your favorite match or just your favorite emoji. Let's see if we get your favorite emojis in there just for the engagement part. But as always folks, thank you for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. And always remember... Be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see y'all here next time on the Mike the Rough Twitch channel and the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.